So let's get into this story right here that's been floating around social media on TikTok and Instagram. So this young lady right here was asked by, I guess who you would call a guy that she was maybe just seeing, casually dating. They weren't technically girlfriend and boyfriend, I think she said. But at the last minute, he asked her to go to Orlando, Florida with her son and basically he was already scheduled to fly down there with his girlfriend, his living girlfriend and his children that he has by other women. So let's take a look at the text messages that she shared. So it started off with him asking her, do y'all want to come to Orlando this weekend? She says, for real. He said, yes. You see the dates? She said, yeah, I see the dates. Don't be playing laughing out loud he says so and she says you know yes i think it'll be fun um so he told her send me y'all's info so i can book y'all's flights she said what you need he said names and birthdays do you want to leave today or tomorrow she says what time tomorrow he says i didn't look she then asked oh how long till we return he said, I had only looked for today. And then he tells her Wednesday. So returning on Wednesday, she said, oh, that's what I was talking about. And then she says, 7.55 p.m. He says, yes, tonight. He then tells her, okay, about to shoot to the bank, then book y'all's flights. She said, the bank this late, please be careful. He commented, want to catch the flights before they go up since his last minute. She responds, right, because where did this come from, Michi? You know, him saying it's a last minute asking her to fly out. He said, I was already leaving today. It's been booked for months and I was up trying to pack and thought about y'all. That was a red flag right there. But anyway, she said, let me know when you make it back in. He responds, okay. She said, why would you have to go to the bank at night for flights? And once again, it didn't make any sense, uh, but it looks like he showed her that maybe he was upgrading her seats. Uh, but then she shows where she's telling him that she was in TSA. He says, babe, my stalking AWS baby mama then showed up to the airport with the same flight as us. I'm over blue right now. She responds laughing out loud and says she's coming to the trip or something else. He said, yes. And then I'm not sure what he was trying to say here. He says, do voice hadn't finalized. She trying to catch me to take all my investments. Y'all, you know, that don't make any sense. Um, he says, I'm going to still book a room and do the parks with y'all. Just play it cool. She bogus as F for this S-H-I-T, trying to take everything I got. Play it cool like you do not know me. I'm salty as F for this S-H-I-T. I'm sending hotel details shortly. Well, he called her his baby mom, but technically we come to find out she's not his baby mom. And the kids that he has are not by her. This woman has no kids at all, but she lives with him and she's his live in girlfriend. So the young lady asked him what basically saying, you know, she's going to be here the whole trip though. He told her, send me your cash out too. Um, he says, I'm trying to see now, I guess basically how long his so-called baby mom is supposed to be there. She sends him her cash app and then he tells her probably not the whole trip. So she asked him, how would she be a part of the whole trip? How she know the itinerary and like, so we not going to stay in the same place. He blamed it on his daughter. He said, my daughter, but technically this is not this woman's daughter. Um, this woman has no kids by this man. She says, wow. He responded, I'm sending you a thousand dollars in a second. We walking on. She said, so I got to get my own room now. Basically, like, I don't even know you the entire trip. How is this going to work? He said, no, I'm booking it. So he ended up booking her a room at the exact same hotel that him and his live-in girlfriend and his kids were staying at. So let's take a look at what happened when they encountered each other 
at the hotel. And I knew something like that was going on because he never invited me to Frankfurt. And I'm like, what do you got going on at this Who house? He, he said he, he said he, he said he lived in Frankfurt. Oh, that's me. So you can leave there for two years. I never went to his house. So where y'all hang out? Yeah. We go out and we get rooms. Y'all went to Nando? We yeah. Just recently. Mm mm. He probably talked to other girls, girl. So he probably talked to a lot of girls. You said the you last time I talked to him, um, I asked him a lot, so a thousand dollars, and he gave it to me. And he came over like every time he we leak up. You said you recently, y'all recently were just fucking. The last time he he's the only one I've been with. Since when? When was the last time I've been with? Um, maybe like a couple weeks ago. Where you live? We use a we use a condo though. I don't fucking know. Where y'all? Where you live? Where you live at? I stay in the city. No, I'm not, we I'm not we own and all talk like we don't we're not in a relationship. All right. No, no, you know, no. Like, no so I'm we not we, we own and all talk. Right. I'm, I'm, it's niggas. This is. I just want to know. Like. My know. thing is this: What was you planning on doing? <laughs> he's gonna leave me at the fucking airport. I'm trying to figure out. I guess y'all was gonna go to y'all room, and then he's gonna be like, "Are oh, you still at the airport?" I'm gonna like, what was you gonna do? And then I just some girl was that was talking to me on the plane. She was trying to get. I was trying to see. I was trying to figure out like if she, maybe she can give me a fucking ride to the hotel that he got. And the hotel. Oh, you got your room? Yeah. From, from, he said he sent me this. No, go ahead. He sent me this when we was on the plane on that when we landed, and I'm just like, what the fuck? Like y'all gonna go to this big house? So apparently it's gonna be a house. Everybody. Right? Gonna be at the house and shit, right? Yeah. I'm his baby mom that blue hair. I ain't even got no kids. Wow. <laughs> I don't even have no kids. I mean, I'm not embarrassed. I never, this never, this no shit never happened to me before. And then he's not my boyfriend, so I don't feel the type of way. My thing I'm is, not like, embarrassed. I'm, I'm just out this. here, and it's just this, this is crazy though. Mm -hmm. This is crazy, and I don't know what type of he's like. Oh, be cool. Like this, my everything. I mean. I'm I don't, that's what I'm trying to figure out. Like, who all of a sudden is your everything? He like, said that to, he the, said that to you. Who all of because he said his other phone had died. So like, who, who all of a sudden is your everything? The kids or the girl? Like, who's all of a sudden your everything? Because and you just told me your baby mama was popped up and just blew the fuck out of you. I'm not baby I'm, I'm, we live she together. just some baby. I just sat right there and I turn around and I see you again. So I'm I'm just trying to figure out what we supposed to do. Even though you don't know me. Hey, you hey, were So who is this? You don't know who the fuck this is. Who is this? Y'all yeah, have a good show. So as you see, she says this man gets caught up at the airport, invites two girls on the same trip to Disney World with kids. She's just the girlfriend and these are not her kids. They have no kids together. He invited me at 5 a.m. to Disney World, paid for a round trip for me and my son. Then as we boarded, he said his, stalk his stalking baby mom followed him. She said, I couldn't believe this. I was lost for words. $1,300 for flights round trip and sent me $2,000 when we landed. And that's the man you with. And that's the man you with. No, I'm saying you came all the way down here. I didn't pay for it though. The, the fact that you're gonna leave me at the airport with my baby, that's weird. Okay, so he so he paid me out of here. He paid me out of You wanna see my taxes? Let's see the taxes. If you gonna fight me, don't don't get on you. that one. And he no, but he know that. Look, Look. 
Because that's wrong. Because he, because that's wrong. Like, what the fuck? How smart was that? I could have been in my room if he hadn't canceled, right? Y'all wouldn't even see me. I would have been in my fucking room. But you canceled my fucking room? You petty as hell, gang. I would have been in my room. They wouldn't even know I was here. You gonna cancel the room. You're really smart. You're really smart. I could have been in my room. Wouldn't even know I was here. But you canceled my shit. You was just, you just, you just showing Naya and, and the Shayla a good exact with a man. You were showing them a, you booked her a room in the same hotel as that your kids and everybody's family. Yes, dude. You did that? Love you would You, you should have just kept my reservation. They wouldn't even never knew I was here. You so smart. You so smart. What the fuck you thought I was going to go? That's crazy as hell. This nigga just canceled my fucking reservation. Got me and my baby out here in the motherfucking Orlando. And you sitting up here acting like I'm some type of sad bitch. You acting like I'm some type of sad bitch though. When you be calling my motherfucking phone, nigga. Eating my pussy, bitch. You really gonna wail on me like that? I'm finna go down on your ass, nigga. I ain't never been no sad bitch, nigga. Never been. Never been. I don't give no fuck about your kids. No disrespect. I don't give no fuck. Cause this is wild the fuck. I got my motherfucking baby in this bitch. You know I got my own shit. I ain't never asked you for a motherfucking thing. You live with this lady. You live with this lady. You overfell. You overfell, gang. You overfell. You overfell and you know where it's at with me. You know where it's at with me. You know where it's at with me. You know I ain't even like that. You know I ain't even like that. You know I ain't even like that. Real talk. Where the fuck my motherfucking headphone at? You know I ain't even fucking like that. You well as fuck. You got kids out here, gang. You well. This is some other other. They wouldn't even know I was here. You gonna cancel my shit? You bitch be trying to say fuck me, huh? For why? What, is, what, what was I gonna do with me and my baby at the airport? And you had like a, you you had like a random shit. I was like, and then like you you. I was just like, so what I'm supposed to do? I was calm as fuck, gang. I wasn't even disrespectful. You finna get me another room. You finna get me another room. You finna get us a room. And you finna stay on the fucking flight. You gonna get the fuck up out here? Who the fuck you thought this was? I'ma send this bitch out. I'ma send this bitch out. I'm ready. Cause you got the right bitch. You did this. Found her. Found her. I'm not gonna move from this door. Watch out. I'm not moving from this door. No, but we're not gonna do that in front of them. We, it's enough that but, he, but he's gonna leave me down here, and you don't care because I, 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 I don't. I don't. I know, and I get anything. And I get. I get. I get that you don't care. I get that you don't care. But this not cool. I got my baby out here. I know. I know. But you can't say I'm crazy. Don't. Don't. We're not gonna do that. 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 We're not gonna do
ass. Over a nigga. We finna fight over him, though. We finna fight over him. We finna fight over him. That's the scary part. And he not even my nigga. Ain't you here from out of town? Don't go to jail for that. <laughs> don't go to jail for that. I promise you, don't go to jail for that. She gonna fight me now. You want to fight me over him because you embarrassed. You embarrassed, and you really mad because I look yeah. better than you. He well, cheated. I I gotta put it in my name. Hold on. He didn't sit up there and cheated on you 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 and cheated on you. I ain't never been with this man. I keep blocking him. He hit me at four in the morning. The last time I talked to him was two days ago, and I had told him I was gonna call him back, and I didn't call him back. You hit me at four in the morning and tell me get my pack my bags and you you finna take us for a flight. Her story was they got into it last night. She like, oh, so you, so we got into it, so you finna fly a whole nother bitch out? Yeah, that's what he did on your ass. Just like he had all them kids on you, and you don't have no kids by him. Oh my god, no kids. So those ain't even her. Those kids. not her kids. Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna get you a room. You cannot start clowning. I swear to God, I'm about to be in my name, oh and my. I'm about to pay for it. Okay, because you out here. From wherever you from, he have a flight. My flight is here. from today, and I and my, and I, my next flight is from the seventh. I need to try to call Southwest to make sure that he don't even cancel that flight. Yeah, because if they wait, but it's in it's yeah, a round can, trip. It's in my name. It's but he can cancel it. Damn. Yeah, because I did my husband like that before. So yeah, you can if he paid for it, he can cancel it. If he have, do he have the confirmation number? I have. Or it came to your email. It, uh, I have everything. Did she give me that number? No. She did, oh, she gave me a number. She gave me another one. The guy's in the beach. <laughs> no, he's not. Because I don't know what happened. Did she tell y'all the story? Yes. I was like, I was thinking about you all morning. I was like, is she okay? I'm okay. Like, this, I cannot believe this. That's the man I say, take care of you. I hope so. Her friend, the girl. Yeah. Who's working here? That's yeah. Nice. All right. Oh my God, this is crazy. Hell fucking no. I can't believe it. This is never oh. Oh. This is crazy. Oh. Y'all, they packing up. Get ready to leave oh right now. God. You on candy camera now. You're not candy camera. So, my um, live is blocked because of all of this stuff and everything. I mean, it's probably for my own good because it's a tropical storm out here in Orlando. So I took it upon myself to entertain myself, not knowing that it would pick up like that. But y'all can say what y'all want to say. I like, I love the fact that everybody is so concerned about, um, like, did you get your baby home? Y'all go home and everything like that. So we're fine, everything is good. We have our flights back. It's a tropical storm out here, that's the only thing. Like, it being a storm is probably the only thing that's probably going to like take longer for us to get home. Um, hopefully not, hopefully that's not going to hinder us or, or anything. Hopefully, like, we, like, you know, if anything, probably have to be out here for an extra day. 
Disney World definitely canceled for everybody because of the weather. So there you have it. So all of that, and they didn't even get to go to Disney World anyway. Uh, but she says she's single again and back on the prowl. But you guys, drop down in the comments. Let me know what you thought about this story. Let me know if you were in her shoes, what you would have done. And, you know, a lot of people are saying that she should have just kept quiet and just went along with it. But you can tell that she was clearly hurt and had no idea that this man had a girlfriend, a live-in girlfriend at that. So it looks like she was just reacting off of emotions. But let me know what you guys think and what do you think about him bringing her on this trip with another woman. I mean, it's just downright crazy what some of these men will do. But I want to hear from you guys. Let me know in the comments what you're thinking. And as always, I thank you guys for watching and listening. And I'll talk to you in the next video.